Baltimore City Police are investigating a dog attack that injured a toddler and left a family pet dead. WJZ is live at Animal Control in South Baltimore, and Tracy Leong explains a family says the other dog's owner needs to be held accountable. Tracy? Well, that's absolutely right, Denise. The animal control impounded that dog. It's being held here. And the family's owner of the pet that was killed, they say they do need to hold that dog's owner responsible. Still in shock, Re Foster cannot believe her beloved winter is gone. I waited for the call just to say that she she's okay. She just got to go to the hospital. You know, she had a couple of bruises, but when they said gotta, she was gotta, dead. She's got a groom, like. She was dead. That, it traumatized me. I don't know how I'm asleep. The Bichon Yorkie mix was mauled in her own yard Friday morning by a neighbor's dog in the 4500 block of Furley Avenue in Northeast Baltimore. Foster's brother tried breaking up the fight, but it was too late. I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it like that. I couldn't. I had to wait till everything was cleaned up. I'm like, clean everything up. I can't see y'all like that. And just hours before, police say the dog had injured the owner's two year old relative before escaping to kill four year old Winter. It just is so sad. <laughs> no other dog could ever replace her. And I'm so mad. Because I would never allow my dog, big or small, to do that to someone else. Dog. <laughs> and Foster wants to know why the vicious dog was on the loose after it had hurt a toddler. The dog should have been taken away this morning. The owner of the dog that killed Winter had a second dog. Both of those dogs are being held here at Animal Control during this investigation. Reporting live, Tracy Leong for WJZ. I right, thank you, Tracy. Police and Animal Control officers are asking for any witnesses to give them a call.